So you should think about PEG as a half-life extension technology for large molecules. It became the standard way to turn certain large molecules, proteins, a peptide, an aptamer, an enzyme, into a product. Very successful platform. 32 FDA-approved drugs over the course of 30 plus years. Serena's founding scientific team. We're the founding scientific team behind that technology 30 years ago at a company called Shearwater Polymers. That company was acquired by Nectar Therapeutics as an optimization technology that Nectar used to create their own assets. When the team got to Nectar, they turned their attention to, can PEG do what it did for biologics for large molecules? Can it do that for small molecules? And if you think about the challenges of small molecules versus large molecules, it's significant. It's almost exponential because large molecules are targeting large targets, extracellular targets, targets that are on the outside of the cell where small molecules are going intracellular. And so all of the polymer chemists in the world were trying to solve this problem. And the Serena team solved it first and built a formidable patent estate around a composition of matter, around poly 2 our chemistry, the utility of it across multiple modalities and molecules. And so those polymer experts that invented PEG and created PAWS have also held at the gate all the other brilliant polymer chemists on the planet that have been trying to get around Serena's IP for years unsuccessfully. And so we continue to innovate on the platform. We've filed three new patent families in the last three years. We're constantly filing new IP around broadening the chemistry platform to be relevant, technically feasible, to posulate more small molecules. And so we're just at the beginning. Think about where PEG was in biologics 30 years ago. That's where pause is with respect to the small molecule opportunity set today.